What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Cullen HG Media and welcome back for the third and final part of our live Pokemon showdown and you suspect test session featuring Magneton and uh, this is probably the last time we're going to get to use it in NU because in all likelihood it is going to get banned from the tier and uh, like I said before I do uh, support that not because it's overpowered but because uh, it's becoming a little bit over centralizing as far as uh, the NU tier is concerned. I don't know why it would concern any other tier, but anyway, we're gonna look for a battle here and uh, Hopefully we can move up the ladder just a little bit with a couple of wins. That would be nice uh, If not, you know, then that's that's that um, Got a lot of recording to do today So hopefully I get my my voice going because I feel like I sound like I'm tired But uh, anyway, this is a pretty cool team. Uh, Regirock always scares me because it always just poops on my teams uh, Give this guy a good luck have fun and uh, let's see what I want to start off with. He does have an electric immunity uh, in the Electivire. And uh, he's got a Rapid Spinner in the Crag and all. This Lee Vanny's probably going to be Sticky Web. In fact, he might lead off with that. Oh, this guy knows me. Uh, yes, that would be me. If you see someone with the name Culination, I have that registered, so that's me. Um, if it's spelled correctly, it is me. So uh, say hi if you see me on. Uh, so apparently this guy knows who I am. Um, so let's see, what is he going to lead off with? I want to say the Levani here. Um, oh wow, that's really cool. Uh, what should I say to him? Big fan, love your content. Um, I should say something. Uh, how about, thanks man, really appreciate the kind words. Alright, now let's get into the battle. I don't want to waste uh, all this time because I am recording this. Um, hmm. If he leads off with that Archeops, though, that's lead Archeops, that could be a huge problem. Uh, because of that, I'm kind of tempted to lead off with my Sneasel. Because I can just Ice Punch you. Yeah, I'm going to lead off with Sneasel. That is what I'm going to do. Now, I don't normally lead off with Sneasel, but I will do it this time, as he does lead off with the Levani, in fact. And uh, I'm going to go straight for an Ice Punch here. If he kills me with an X Scissor, that means he won't get Sticky Web up. So I'm actually okay with that. Looking at the rest of his team, do I need Sneasel? Like, absolutely need it. Um, not necessarily, because Archeops can be handled by Quagsire. So I'm feeling relatively okay with just going for Ice Punch here. Um, if he wants to switch out, he can, I suppose. Uh, I might actually want to go for Pursuit, predicting him to want to switch and breaking his Focus Sash. But uh, I'm not going to make that prediction on turn one. He does actually decide to switch into Regirock, and he takes absolutely no damage whatsoever from that. Wow, I should have gone for Knockoff, I suppose. But uh, what are you going to do to me? You just going to set up rocks? Is that... Is that what this is right now? Uh, let's see, let's see. I could go out into my Magneton here. Flash Cannon does a number to his team. Um, he really doesn't have much to switch in on that. He could switch in like Pyroar if he really wanted to. Um, we know this thing is not Assault Vest too because it has the lefties. I don't think he's gonna go for EQ this turn. Uh, and I don't think he's going to go for something like Drain Punch either. I think he's going to set up rocks here. So that's why I'm going into this. He actually goes for the T-Wave, which is perfect. It's another thing I was thinking of in the back of my mind, but I really didn't think he would go for that here. Um, regardless, I don't think he's going to want to stay in. Uh, he might try to switch in this Electivire here. Um, if he's predicting a Flash Cannon, that might still be his only play. Um, or he might have to stay in and go for EQ if he has that because I don't know if he wants to switch in Pyro on the analytic flash cannon because it's going to take a lot of damage. And I really don't want to risk this thing switching in, so I'm not going for Volt Switch, I'm not going for T-Bolt, I'm going for Flash Cannon. So, that is what we are doing, as he is indeed going to switch out the Pyro, and that takes a buttload of damage, my goodness, so he can't switch that in again. Um, now, he might go for Hyper Voice here, predicting me to want to possibly switch out into my nine tails uh, I really don't have a switch into this unfortunately uh, the other thing is that it could also carry dark pulse and that's not really good 
I don't know that I want to sacrifice my Claydol here either because if this Levani comes in and gets up Sticky Web, that's a problem for Sneasel. Um, that's really all it's a problem for, but still. Actually, it could be a problem for Magneton too if I'm not outspeeding Regirock. Um, the question is, I mean, I am specially defensive. I probably can take two and get up my own rocks, potentially. His team is actually very, very weak to Stealth Rock now that I'm looking at it. Uh, I don't think he's going to go for a Fire-type move. I, I think I'm going to just go and uh, switch in Claydol here. It's a safe middle play. I mean, unless he specs, I don't think that he's going to be taking me out in two hits here. As he does actually go for the Flamethrower. Thankfully, he does not get the burn. That could have been really, really bad. Um, so now, the question is, are you going to go right into your Cryogonal? Um, if I were him, that is exactly what I would do because I can't really touch it with anything and if I do set up Stealth Rocks, he can just uh, rapid spin that away. So, with that being said, I'm going to set up Stealth Rocks either way. I don't, I don't foresee him staying in here. No, he's not going to. He's going to switch out into Archaeops, actually. I wonder if this has... I wonder what this has. Does it have uh, Stealth Rock? Possibly. Well, no, I would think that the Regirock would have that. So, I don't know what set this is. Uh, if he's just going to go for Acrobatics here, I could switch in my Magneton. But I do have Quagsire that I can switch in on this. And uh, he may be using this as a way to get in his Cryagonal for basically free. Uh, it's not really too much I can do about that either. Um, hmm... I'm kind of tempted to just stay in and Psychic this thing, but if he Acrobatics me, I think I'm just dead. Uh, because I'm not physically defensive, and Archaeops is a monster. It's an absolute monster. Um, I think I have to go Quagsire here. I don't think I can uh, risk it. And he's actually just going to go for the knockoff. I'm actually very okay with that. And I'm going to predict him to want to go into the uh, Cryagonal this time, I think. Hmm. And then I, I can safely go into Magneton there, I suppose. And even if he does get off the Rapid Spin, I get rid of this Cryagonal, which is great. Um, what are the chances that he stays in here? Uh, I don't think it's very high that he stays in. So... If he, if he goes for Earthquake here, I'm screwed. If he goes for Acrobatics, you know, Magneton won't take a lot of damage. But uh, the problem is that I do not outspeed you. I don't know if the threat of a Scarf is still there. He may have, you know, seen the damage on the power and be like, that's definitely Specs because that was a resisted hit, you know. So uh, I, I'm going to make the Magneton play here. And uh, I'm going to expect him to try to go into Coragonal here. And uh, that is exactly what he does, and I do not believe that he's going to want to stay in here. Uh, as he says, playing you is actually really cool. Well, uh, I appreciate that. I mean, that means a lot to me. I like battling my subscribers because I know like 99.9% .9 of you guys are... Uh, just really cool people uh, in general. Uh, you bring some interesting stuff, you know, you uh, make some good plays most of the time. A lot of you are really great players. Some of you are better than me um, by quite a bit. And uh, I've learned a lot from you guys, so it's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. It's not just a one-way thing. Anyway, I, uh, let's see. Do I just go for Flash Cannon here? I mean, what is he switching in? Pyro's dead. I don't think he's going to make that play. Uh, he really has no switch-ins. This Magneton just demolishes his team. Except for Electivire at this point, but it only has one switch-in. I'm going for Flash Cannon here. If he wants to Rapid Spin, he can, because he does naturally outspeed me. Um, but he's also carrying the Lefty, so he might be defensive. Uh, he's actually going to switch into Electivire here. And that's going to take a lot of damage. So now he has zero switch-ins. Um, you could have EQ, so I don't think I want to stay out on you. <sighs> what do I want to go out into, though? That is the question. Um, I could go out into my Vileplume. Hmm. He's not going to go for an Electric-type move. We know that. Um, I should give this guy, like, a smiley face. Um, I'm just... I'm talking and not actually responding to him in the chat. Um, I don't want to ignore you. So, okay. Let's see here. 
He's not going to go for an electric type move. He could go for EQ. He could also have HP Grass, and that is kind of deterring me from wanting to go into Quagsire here. Uh, now, if he has Ice Punch, that's probably going to be a 2 at KO. I don't think he would go for Ice Punch here, though. So, what would he want to switch in on Vileplume then? Uh, he doesn't really have much to switch in. He's going to have to take Stealth Rock damage. So, uh, I'm going to go into Vileplume. That is the play that I'm going to make. Because I, I want this Magneton alive. Every time it comes in on something like Cryagonal, which I'm assuming is defensive because he switched out, um, or the Regirock, I get a free kill, basically. So, uh, he's actually going to go for Fire Punch, getting the... Wow, I was not expecting that. I don't even think that was a prediction. I think that was his attack to hit uh, Magneton with. So that is unfortunate. Uh, he did not show any item either, so I don't know if he's scarfed. I mean, if he is, he's locked in. So that kind of helps. Does he have anything that outspeeds Ninetales? He has, well, he's got two. He's got Archaeops and the Pyroar. So I don't really like that so much. What I could do is go right into Ninetales here and click Energy Ball in case he wants to switch in Regirock. Hmm. Or I can just go out into Sneeze. But the, the question is, is he Scarf though? That kind of scares me. I don't want to have to click Ice Shard because I'm not even positive that it would kill from there. It would have really uh, made me feel a little bit better if he showed Life Orb. Because a lot of them are Life Orb, but Expert Belt is also a thing. I just don't really want to take a chance here. Um, I think Energy Ball is my best play, most likely. I think it's going to take out the Pyroar after Stealth Rocks. Uh, if he switches in Kragonaut, I'll just go for Flamethrower at that point. So, yeah, Energy Ball should take out this Electivire, too. So, that is what I'm going for. Energy Ball it is. I feel like I'm taking a lot longer this time to, uh, you know... I don't know, make my decisions, and uh, he's actually going to go out into the Archaeops as I do go for the Energy Ball that is going to bring him down below his defeatist range, but he is Citrus Berry, which is really unfortunate, uh, especially because I don't have a switch in now, because if he goes for Acrobatics, something dies, basically. Hmm... I mean, I could be really cheeky and go into Magneton here, but if he goes for Earthquake, that would be terrible. That would be absolutely terrible. I could sacrifice Claydol. What do I need more, Claydol or Quagsire? What does Quagsire do for me? Uh, actually, what does Claydol do for me? I have the rocks up already. Am I really thinking that I'm going to need to do some shenanigans? Um, probably not. I think I can sacrifice Claydol at this point. If I get a safe switch into my Sneasel then, uh, he's going to have to sacrifice something. Yeah, he's definitely going to have to sacrifice something. He's got no switch-ins. He, Quite a bit of his team is weakened, uh, except for that Lee Vanny. Um, and as long as I keep the offensive pressure up, he's not going to be able to uh, get a spin off. So I'm going to go into Claydol here and sacrifice it. I don't feel like I'm going to need it. Uh, Quagsire, on the other hand, has recovery, so, you know, it has a chance to... Oh, he actually makes the Kraganol play. Fantastic play on my opponent's part. Uh, I am going to get some free lefties going here, but that's not really going to do much for me. He's probably going to rapid spin, I'm guessing. <sighs> Now, I could just stay in and Stealth Rock again if I really wanted to. But he's just getting Lefty's Recovery if I do that. So I'm more tempted to go right into uh, my Magneton just because... Yeah, uh, still, when I go into Magneton, something dies. And it's probably going to be this Kraganol because it's looking like the least useful member on his team, to be honest. Uh, I could go out into Sneasel, too. He doesn't really have a switch into that other than Regirock. Um, I'm kind of worried about hitting power ground. Hmm. I'm going into Magneton. I don't think he's going to go for hidden power ground here. I don't see that happening. No, he's just going to go for the rapid spin, which is fine by me because now something dies. We have the Pyroar and the Electivire weakened. Uh... 
Archaeops has some prior damage on it. Something has to die, and Flash Cannon kills everything. So, uh, Flash Cannon it is. Now, I could have gone for Volt Switch here, predicting him to definitely not want to go into Electivar. He actually goes into the Levani. Now, that... That is interesting. Why did you do that? Is it just to get your... Your sticky web up? Now, he could go for x or predicting me to want to go right into Claydol, but I'm actually going to Flash Cannon. I don't think he has anything to hit me with. Uh, I resist the stab. And... What other coverage move would you have? Possibly Knock Off? I'm not too scared of that. That's not going to kill me. I mean, losing my choice specs kind of stinks. But getting rid of this, this Levani is uh, pretty nice. And I... Do I outspeed you with Ninetales? I do actually outspeed you with Ninetales. So if he goes for X Scissor... Hmm, that's... That's tempting to not have to take damage on this. Hmm, <laughs> I'm just gonna Flash Cannon. I'm not too afraid of you. I'm not too afraid of you indeed. Now, yeah, he is going to go for Sticky Web, so we're going to get rid of the Levani, which is fine. Um, now, I'm just going to need to find an opportunity to get rid of that, because that's not good for Sneasel at all. Uh, Ice Shard may come into play because of that. He's actually going to go into the Pyroar. And I basically have to sacrifice something at this point. The question is, are you going to go for Flamethrower? He went for Flamethrower last time. And that kind of surprised me. And I don't think he showed Life Orb either, so this thing could very well be Specs. Uh, if I go into Quagsire, I'd probably still take a lot of damage from that. I don't think that Claydol can take two hits from there. So it's looking like Ninetales is going to be my best play at this point. And I don't really like that so much. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not I'm not digging the fact that I have to basically sacrifice nine tails here. What is gonna be more useful? Quagsire, nine tails. Nine tails outspeeds Electivire. If it comes down to that. Um, it can take out the Karagonal, but as long as Magneton is around, you know what? I'm going into nine tails. There's a chance that I can get a flash fire boost here. So I'm going for it. And he actually goes for Dark Pulse. That's not gonna be a two at KO. I'm assuming he was predicting me to want to go into the Claydol here. Uh, the fact that he didn't Dark Pulse me before when I had Claydol out means that he's definitely Specs. And so, will he stay in? That is the question. I really don't know. I don't know if he will. And if I switch in Quagsire here, he's just, you know, getting extra damage off. He has a safe switch into Cryagonal, I suppose. I don't think that can kill me with anything. So there's that. Um, Energy Ball's not going to kill this, though. That's the thing that I don't like. Not a fan of that so much. Uh, Psy Shock might not even kill it, to be completely honest. This is kind of a problem. I'm going to go for Psy Shock anyway. It does hit the Cryagonal for uh, a lot of damage. I don't think that'll kill it either because I'm pretty sure it's defensive. As I mentioned already, I feel like my commentary is getting a little bit redundant, but I'm kind of uh, deep in thought in this one. In fact, this might be the only battle in this uh, this part slash episode with the way it's going. It's already been about 15 minutes, hasn't it? Let me check the timer. Uh, it's been almost 20 minutes already, actually. Wow, I've been talking way too much. Way too much. Oh, this is kind of an intense battle, though. I like it. I love battling subscribers, I really do. It's so much fun for me, whether it's on Showdown or uh, Wi-Fi matches, it's just, uh, I don't know. It's, a, it's like a surreal thing, I guess, for me. I don't really know. So he does stay in to go for the Dark Pulse, he does get, well, it was only 50.2, that really wasn't min-max. I don't know why it said I had 51, I probably should have checked that, but I did not. So that puts me in a really bad spot here. Um, I can very easily go into my Magneton and just click Flash Cannon again. He can't kill me with a Dark Pulse. 
Um, the problem is, if he flinches something, I'm screwed. Like, if I go into Quagsire and he flinches me, I'm in trouble. If I go into Magneton and he flinches me, I'm in trouble because I'm not Eviolite. If I go into Sneasel and I get flinched, that's not good either. It's just not a good situation for me, uh, regardless. I think my best option here is to go into my Magneton. I don't know if he's going to want to sacrifice this thing, but we're going to find out here. So I should be able to go for Hidden Power Ground, I guess. See, if I... If I click Volt Switch and he goes into the Electivire, he's going to get, you know, the, the motor drive boost, plus he's going to get momentum and get at least two hits off on something. And he probably has something to hit Claydol with, I'm assuming. He probably has, like, Ice Punch or something. That might mean he has nothing to hit Quagsire, though, because he does have the Fire Punch. So Quagsire could be an option. Hmm. But if I click Flash Cannon, I don't think that's going to kill this. Well, actually, no, it will, because we got the analytic boost last time, and that kill, or that, yeah, that killed. It killed, and he's still there. It's amazing. How did that happen? It's a zombie cat. I'm going for Flash Cannon. It should kill this with the analytic boost, uh, because it did 55% last time. So he is going to make the switch into Archeops and sacrifice it, which I'm fine with, because that's you know, kind of a scary member of my opponent's team. Now, he can go back into the Pyroar here um, and kill something, basically. Yeah, if he goes into Pyroar here, something else on my team dies. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what he's going to do, because now he's going to click Flamethrower, most likely. Hmm. Do I need this to win? Yes, I do, because I have no way to... Uh, get rid of Regirock. If I sacrifice this, I'm going to have to wear it down with Quagsire. <sighs> I really don't want to sacrifice my uh, Sticky Web either because Sneasel outspeeds this Pyroar. So he says Magneton is power. Uh, it really is. It really, really is. If I go into Quagsire, I'm pretty sure that Specs Flamethrower, even if he does go for the Flamethrower, I'm pretty sure that's still a KO there. Do I really need this? Do I really, really need this? If I can get rid of Sticky Web, I think I'll be fine. So I think I need to sacrifice Quagsire here. Uh, it really is. So, Quagsire, I'm sorry, you're going down, my friend. Yeah, he goes for the Flamethrower. That is going to be a solid two-hit KO. And I will go for... Scald, I guess, to get damage off on something. I can recover if he wants to switch. I'll recover in case he does want to switch. That's what I'll go for. I mean, he's going to go for Flamethrower. There's really no reason for him not to. Uh, this just means that I can go into my clay doll here and he can't stop me from rapid spinning unless he gets a critical hit so and he can't set up the sticky web again that means that my magneton should be able to outspeed the cryagonal um and the regirock which is good news because i don't know if that regirock has earthquake yet or not and i could just earth power and kill this thing hmm that's tempting. That's actually very, very tempting. What do I have to lose by going for Earth Power? The worst he could do is switch in Cryagonal, and if it's defensive, it's not going to kill me. Um, if I get rid of this Pyroar, this Electivire is still a problem. It's still quite a big problem. If I Rapid Spin... Hmm... Wait a minute, if I, if I Earth Power this, and it's dead, Electivire would be my biggest issue. Will an Ice Shard kill it from there? That is like the biggest question. And I don't know if I want to risk this thing having Earthquake. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to Earth Power here. 
That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it anyway. I feel like rapid spinning puts me in a situation. I'm trying to think a couple of turns ahead. And I know uh, I'm not talking as much as I probably should. I was talking too much and then not enough and it was a whole big thing. But Pyro is gone. Whew, this is just tense for me. I don't know why. I feel extra tense. Maybe it's just because this person knows me. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm a little rattled. I'll say that much. So now he goes out into the crag and all. Uh, I'm expecting some kind of ice type move, I suppose. Freeze dry, maybe? I mean, what I don't like is, hmm, if I go into Magneton, I get another kill. But if he has HP ground, I don't get that kill. That's that's what scares me here. And I don't really need Claydol for anything else. This is not a good situation. This is not a good situation. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it at all. If I go into Magneton here, I mean I think if he just if he has HP ground, I think I just lose regardless. I think that's what it comes down to. Do I really need to save Claydol for anything? I'm thinking hard about that. I've been like trying to save this Claydol for some reason. And I don't know why exactly that is. But if he's... I'm just going to... I mean, can I rapid spin on anything else? That is the question. I'm so torn right now. I'm so torn. I need to make a decision. Um, he has no reason to go for Hidden Power Ground right now. That's for sure. I'm just going to Rapid Spin. I'm going to let him kill me. Uh, I don't think that I'm going to be able to get a Rapid Spin off on anything else. Uh, he actually has Water Pulse. What did I, What just happened? I'm so confused. Okay, that pretty much seals the match, I think. I mean, maybe he is offensive. Water Pulse? What is that for? What is that for? I... I legitimately don't know. Um... I think he's gonna try to kill me here. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. Water Pulse. Uh, yeah, now he goes for Ice Beam to finish me off. He's got Ice Beam, Water Pulse, Rapid Spin. He has to have Recover. There's no way he has... There's no way he has Hidden Power Ground. An all-out attacking Kragonol with... Lefties? Hmm... I don't know what this thing is. That basically that's what it comes down to. Like it's just it's boggling my mind right now. The water pulse just threw everything off for me. It really did. Really, really did. And uh, the fact that he had ice beam over freeze dry also threw me off a little bit, I suppose, but uh, not too much. Now I think I might actually have to wrap uh, volt switch here. Was that a bad play? Because I think I still lose because I can kill this with a flash cannon. He's going to go right into Electivire and just click Fire Punch, and I have to sacrifice something. I think the only way I can win here is if I Volt Switch. Can you please be like max speed? That would be fantastic. Otherwise, Scratch here is going to have to take a hit. I think my only the only way I can win is to Volt Switch now that I'm thinking about it. Because I don't think he's going to make the play into Electivire. That's his win condition at this point. I'm going to Volt Switch. I need Sneasel to be out. Why did I do that? Why did I go into Magneton? That was not smart. I guess I was thinking that... I was thinking that he would go right into his Regirock, if that's the case. As he's going to Water Pulse me, that's not going to do a lot of damage. Thankfully, he does not, um, you know, do the thing to me. Yeah, the thing with the stuff. Now, I can... Pursuit here to just make sure that this thing is dead. I don't know if that really matters. It would probably make more sense to 
knockoff here to get some damage off on the Regirock. Um, and then if he has EQ, I still lose. Because then he can just click it knowing I'm going to go into my Magneton. And that's going to be case closed here. If I pursue, this thing is dead. And then he'll still go into his Regirock. The only thing will be that he... You know, it's not taking any damage. And I don't know if that does me any good here. <sighs> this is just bothering me. Or I don't know if it's bothering me, but it's like, I don't know, it's, something is getting to me. Something is. I don't know what it is, but something is. Should I get rid of this thing's lefties? Does it really matter? Probably not. If I click Pursuit and he stays in, will it still kill you? That is the question. Uh, it's Stab, it's Life Orb, Kragonal has awful defense. So, I'm clicking Pursuit. I'm gonna kill this thing, hopefully. I mean, I think that the best thing he has to hit me with is Water Pulse. Yeah, I guess I guess what it's going to come down to is whether or not that Regirock has the... Um, has the Earthquake or not. If he goes... He can't go out into Electivire here. He has to go out into Regirock. But what he can do is he can go out into Regirock and double switch into his Electivire. And if he does that, he wins. That's, that's the play to make. Um, yeah, he goes out into the Regirock. If I knock off here... This, this is, it's a 50-50. If he switches into his Electivire and I switch into Magneton, I lose. If I knock off and he switches into Electivire, I win. If he stays in with Regirock and kills me because I go for knockoff or something, then I lose. So basically, I just, I lose. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna make that switch, though. I really feel like he's gonna make that switch. I'm gonna knock off. I don't think he's gonna T-Wave. I think he's gonna try to double switch here. Come on. You know, that's the play to make. That's what wins you this game. No, why did you stay in? Why? He stayed in to go for Seismic Toss. What? If I switched in Magneton right there, that was game over, pretty much. I'm switching in Magneton now. If he switches in Electivire right now, I just got predicted, like, you cannot believe. Okay, he goes for T-Wave this time. Okay, I don't think he's making a prediction. Did that just win me the game? Um, I think it did. Because now he can't switch into Electivire. Wow, this was close. Um, Flash Cannon does more. So Flash Cannon it is. Please take out this Regirock. Don't be like fully specially defensive and somehow live this. From 75%. Okay, you're gone. So that is going to be the game here because he can take me out with his Electivire with a Fire Punch. And Sneasel should be able to clean up with an Ice Chart. It's going to be a double down, so it's going to be a 0-0 zero, zero, uh, victory in my favor. So, <laughs> oh, oh, wow, not even bad. This was a really cool, it was a really fun match. Um, I have to say the mind games were real, or maybe the mind games were in my head. I don't know if he just wasn't trying to make a prediction, or if he was trying to make predictions of predictions, which uh, gets a bit hairy. He shows off the EQ there. I'm pretty sure he is... Expert belt. Pretty sure. Anyway, uh, that was a super long match, mostly because I took forever to make decisions, so I apologize about that. Um, but I think it was a fun one. It came down to the very, very end. And uh, unless he has some type of priority here. Do you have quick attack? That would be so cool. Actually, it wouldn't matter because um, Sneasel outspeeds, so my Ice Shard would outprioritize his. So give him a GG. In capital letters, uh, yeah, that was great. That was a really fun match. Uh, he had a pretty cool team indeed. And uh, I think that's that's going to wrap it up for this little session. Next time, I have no idea what tier we're going to do. Uh, probably something like UU or something. And uh, so that's going to be that. Uh, shout out to this guy, Next Level Nellis, if that's even how you pronounce it. Uh, if you're watching this video, I uh, hope you enjoyed 
watching the other side of the battle. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, please make sure you're leaving a like rating or a comment or whatever you would like to do, and I will see you all next time. But until then, game on.